Poppy Playtime Chapter 4 is coming, and we might be able to get our hands on it a bit sooner than we thought. Throughout this year, Mob Entertainment has been as active as ever, selling merch of the Smiling Critters, doing interviews, releasing a book, and even uploading recaps of the previous chapters to refresh your minds for what's to come for Chapter 4. But what's interesting about these recap videos, and what everyone is talking about, is the date at the end of the Chapter 3 recap recap video. After we get a replay of the ending for chapter 3, with the player and Poppy descending down a lift expecting to bring Kissy Missy down with us once we reach the bottom and everything going south, we get a top down view of the lift and Kissy Missy is nowhere to be seen. There is no blood in the area apart from where the light on the right is, but Kissy Missy wasn't initially over there. After this top down view of the lift closing, we're greeted to a TV screen slowly revealing the words next outbound transmission september 30th now i don't know about you guys but it is very likely that this transmission is either some type of arg or the trailer for chapter 4. It could be both. The setup is completely there, refreshing the viewers with the plot of the previous chapters, knowing it's been some years since the first two releases can only mean one thing. Chapter 4 will be released very soon, and we absolutely should be getting hyped for it. As of uploading this video, the next transmission will be on the Mob Entertainment channel in 6 days. Now, here's the crazy thing. Initially, once I saw that Mob started to upload Poppy Play time recap videos i didn't really pay too much attention to it i saw it as exactly that a recap video and as time went on i didn't really see any videos being uploaded about these recaps so that just reinforced my thinking it was only until i got a dm from a close friend that made me realize that there might be a bit more info to help us piece together how the story is gonna move forward he showed me a screenshot of the message at the end of the chapter 3 recap saying that something will be uploaded on september 30th after seeing this i immediately skimmed through all the recaps searching for something a figure a note a dim lit message anything to shed a bit of light on what's to come literally as i was writing the script i rewatched the recap of chapter two and saw a combination of letters flash briefly on a tv screen that was showing the documentary of elliot ludwig rcvju my game theory brain immediately lit up and realized that we were gonna have to decipher some kind of sentence so before we solve this code Let's tackle some of the codes from the beginning together. Now, I'm sure there's a code for the first recap as well, but we're getting to that. But upon playing the chapter two recap, the first thing you see is a quick flash of numbers and letters, 45, 6C, 65, and so on. This is written in something called hexadecimal or hex for short. Each pair of letters and numbers represents a number. To understand what it means, we need to convert those hex pairs into something we can read. Here's how we do it. Start with the first pair, 45. We'll convert that from hex to decimal, which is the number system we usually use. 45 in hex equals 69 in decimal. Now we take that decimal number and find its corresponding character using something called ASCII. ASCII is a way to represent letters and symbols with numbers. So 69 matches up with the letter E. When we finish decoding the first word, it translates to 11. So by using this simple process we can uncover the entire message which says 11 words good luck all right well that solved absolutely nothing let's just move on i guess the first actual code we see is 26 seconds into the video which is the one i was talking about earlier rcvju this code is actually a lot simpler compared to the first one and this is all you have to do if you pay attention to where the letters are in the alphabet and you shift each letter to the the two letters behind it then you solve the secret word which reads paths going deeper into the video you'll realize that every code moving forward has the exact same way of solving so after finding and reorienting each word these are all of the words slash phrases that we got in the video am not paths turning of death but i over afraid and clear and if you try to put it in a sentence you get over paths turning clear but i am not afraid of death this doesn't really look or feel complete so we have to take a look at the recap for chapter one 
and of course it had secret codes as well this is the sentence that came from them on felted feet and with bated breath sleep draws ever near wait hold on hold on this sounds like a bar in the making let's put this together the right way on felted feet and with bated breath sleep draws ever near but i am not afraid of death over paths turning clear now a lot of people think that this line is hinting at the main antagonist for chapter four but honestly i think that this is referring to a character that we already know and love so let's take a look at the first couple words of this poem on felted feet and with bated breath this suggests a soft and silent approach as if someone is moving without making a sound like wearing felt on their feet bated breath refers to holding one's breath in anticipation or suspense together they convey the quiet gentle arrival of something in this case sleep or perhaps death not being afraid of death is pretty blunt but over past turning clear suggests that as one progresses, things become more understandable or certain. It implies gaining clarity or insight, possibly as one approaches sleep or death, with confusing aspects of life becoming resolved or peaceful. Now, I don't know about you guys, but the very first character that pops into my head when I read this is Catnap. Now, why would that be the case? Well, take a look at this scene one more time. This final scene of Catnap aligns perfectly with this secret message. The soft, silent approach, which is how Catnap approached the prototype after almost getting burnt to a crisp by her hand. The holding of one's breath in anticipation, which is exactly how to describe how the scene felt, possibly for Catnap as well. And the confusing aspects of life becoming resolved or peaceful after sleep or quote unquote death, which could be how Catnap felt after his sacrifice. Plus, Catnap's toy personality and initial role in the factory was sleep but this is also hinting at one huge thing reincarnation we've already been theorizing the possibility that the prototype has intentions of using catnap's most effective parts for his own plans but if this line is actually hinting at the revival of catnap then that breaks that theory entirely but surely this isn't all a coincidence right i mean every single line matched perfectly with catnap and when it comes to secret messages and poppy playtime a lot of people are quick to assume that they're the prototypes doing. Speaking of the prototype, there's actually one line referring to him said in the recap for chapter 2 of Poppy Playtime that might confirm what's to come for chapter 4 and maybe even chapter 5. Just listen to what the narrator says for the ending of chapter 2. And yes, I am aware that the voice in this video is Harley Sawyer's. I'm not sure if this is some significant detail, but let's just play the clip. What's left of her is his now. What's left of her is his now. This downright confirms that the prototype has been taking various parts from various toys around the factory with the sole purpose of getting to a position of power to where he can roam free and do whatever he wants. We had the ingredients for this cake for a very long time and we finally put the icing on it. That was the icing on the cake right there, ladies and gentlemen. If any new info releases, I'll be sure to upload an update video as soon as possible. But what do you guys think about everything? Let me know down in the comments. Thanks for watching, subscribe, and click on this video right here.